This week, we are partnered with HelloFresh and Rocket Money. More on them after the reaction. Yo, citizens of the Reject Nation, we have made it to episode three of Hasbin Hotel. I just changed into a sweater. We were watching this moments after episode two. Roxy went to the bathroom. She had some crackers. Good. Make sure you tell them I went to the bathroom. If you don't tell them, how will they watch the (laughs) rest? I believe in authenticity and open communication. I do keep eating crackers. Yeah. Before the show, I'm done the whole show. I'm like this. Yeah, me too. I got some in my mouth as well. Hey. What do you guys think of Hasman Hotel? Subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reaction for four is up here on the channel. Leave a like while you're at it, too. Thank you to Prepper, I think. So Breaking down these highlights. It's episode I, three. I'm in the middle of this <laughs> intro. Jesus, woman. You're right. Hey, I got a, got a quick question for you. <laughs> no, when you're right, you're right. Yes, it's episode three, but it's like it's the fourth, fourth one. I just didn't want them to get confused. They won't be. And uh, full length reaction watch along where you sink with your own copy of Aspen Hotel. It's available for super sexy rejects. Our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined. I'm assuming you have. I can see into the future. Cover several things over there. Exclusive to a watch along excluded. I'm ready. You ready? Let's get this show on the road. You're ready for this. Do, do, do. I like the has been, has been. Woo! I like the has been, has been. Woo! Looks that Serpentius is staying at the hotel. This is more than a warm welcome. Pentius was just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk bullshit a few days ago. I haven't seen him try to pull any of that here. What's the passage of time here? Hello, purple female. Different writer? my new invention. Was it a dude? I don't know. Last episode had her and a guy. Looking forward to shooting the other residents. Why? Everyone is being too nice. Obviously, it must be a lie. <laughs> they are planning to kill me. But when? <laughs> How? I must be prepared. Because he's never had love before. <laughs> I get you, man. Mm, thank you for your business. Enjoy your Carmine purchase. <laughs> As in Carmilla Carmine, you are buying parts from an overlord? Carmine, ultimate overlord name. She's the top weapons dealer in hell. Okay, well, that stops right now. Not to be sexist, but... There are too many women in hell. There's not that many evil women. It's an objective fact. First you get female representation. Now you're complaining about the female representation? Yeah. (laughs) You have to trust us. But I don't. Why don't we focus on that for today's activities? No more building weapons. No more plotting against other guests. And you need to get rid of these things. (laughs) Egg, egg, and eggy. Not my little egg boys. They do my evil bidding for me. Do you want to stay here and redeem yourself? Yes. Yes. And no more (laughs) eggs. All right, eggies. Aww. He's really just so soft. No, don't resist. This is how it has to be. (laughs) So theatrical. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, ew. Oh, no. I'm in the middle of breakfast. Pentius's eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them. What does a hell deer taste like? Well, in that case, I'd be delighted to. Humanely. That's a lot less hot. I suppose I can take care of that on my outing today. I'm obsessed with Alistair, and the quality of his voice is just crazy cool. We think that this group could really benefit from... Chest exercises! Chest exercises! <laughs> Trust exercises are hard. Let's get started, Charlie. Actually, I thought maybe you could take the lead on this one. Oh, boy. I trust everyone, so maybe you'd know better about how to build it properly. I trust everyone, so you know how to build it properly. <laughs> but who does she trust outside of Charlie? But, well, she's got to learn. Starting with trust falls. Each of you are going to share something vulnerable with the group about yourself and then fall backwards while the rest of the group catches you. Got it? That is a hard, hard love just to watch Harley. All right, get on up here. I, is she going to hit the ground? I love you guys. No, no, no. She'll be caught. Really? Love you. Gotcha. Angel, why don't you go next? Fine. This time, everyone needs to catch him, okay? Unless you want me to hurt you. Incentive. I love to suck. I swear to if you say popsicles, you sicko. I also love popsicles recently. Hey. 
But you know. Still. They all caught him. Um, dropped him. I <laughs> don't want to live without my minions. <laughs> Nobody catch me. <laughs> Damn it. That's great. Sometimes I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yay, pain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pain. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if this is really working the way we hoped. I got this, okay? I'll figure something out. Charlie having a trust exercise with her friend. Are you you're not getting a uh, relationship vibe still? Mm, no, not yet. Can I touch your staff thing? Are those your ears or is it your hair? I can't tell. Oh, Alistair, how this day. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. The weather doth become this fine day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like we might have some acid rain this afternoon. Oh! If I look <laughs> well, I just took a well-earned sabbatical, nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> now he's got a master plan. Render folly by far to assume the workings of your mind, Alistair. Thou hast been not wow. with us since thy manifest did this realm. Feels Truly ancient. Now, stay here and guard the front until I return. Man, this guy really feels like straight out of some type of actual like evil lore. Like the way he's portrayed is not portrayed in a comedic way. Frank is up there. We have names. <laughs> some good henchmen. High society. <laughs> yeah. What is the societal breakdown in hell? I'm interested. This is true. How do you get higher in class? Like, what is the strongest commodity? How do you gain power? This year's extermination Ooh. was brutal. We have assessed that about 16% of the population was lost. 16? Twice as quickly. I think it prudent. We it's giving leftovers. Kisses, darling. Nice of you to join us, Velvet. Will your colleagues be joining? No, they have better shit to do than to listen to an old windbag who thinks she's tough shit. I'm here to represent. Oh, gosh. You guys aren't going to succeed with this. Why? Because they're women? No. That wasn't what I was really thinking. <laughs> Where did you get this? We found it during extermination day. If these holy rollers can be killed, the game has changed. Mm. Can take the fight to them. I would not do that. If it be true with thee and thy colleagues desire to war with such meager proof, thou art far more foolish than I be thought. Yeah, I would not do that. It's a dead f***ing exorcist. You going blind, old man? They planted him. Mayhaps twas not by a demon's hand at all. If we rush to war without mm -hmm. knowing mightn't, they purge all of hell for daring and uprising. <laughs> I love the way his dialogue is written. Yeah, that was planted. So, so true to the character. Earlier. So Grandpa is too pussy to fight, so I guess there's no point. Oh, what's the matter, Fossil? Too senile to make a real power grab? Oh my god. Better show some respect! Wow! No one speaks to Zestial that way. Oh my goodness. You expect us to sit back and take your Debutant. insolent brazen display. <laughs> oh, how classical this was. Oh, whoa. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. Two genres. And I will do nothing less than <laughs> what I please. Woo! I'm the backbone of the vase. Okay. Awesome. Well, it's because no one could respect this. Yep. Sorry, group attending. I want her um, outfit so bad. I have her hair. Trending. Oh my god. Sorry, oh my god. Babe, I oh my god. Right. You lost your relevance. We can't act without more intelligence. Mm -hmm. You and the V's are remaining and uninformed. I like how you learn who the characters are via the songs. Oops, did I strike a nerve? Yeah. Cause when I brought out the angel's head. It's like epic rap battles. That your wrinkled face was turning red. And why Ooh. did you avoid in war? That's what the guns you sell are for. Yeah. One thing I'm starting to suspect is Good you rides. know why this angel's head last do you have a disclosure? Oh Maybe shit. What does she know? It reminds me of epic rap battles of history. Like the characters are so well fleshed out, but they're so well like attuned in the dot in the lyrics. Mother? 
<laughs> That's interesting. What? You, little egg creature, I have a job for you. Follow them. <laughs> He's like Alice in Wonderland. He's like the... He's like the Mad Hatter. No, no, the eggs. No activity yeah. requires more it's choice like than being sandy. Oh my god. <laughs> no bond stronger than those formed through bonding. Hey, that's a fair point. I mean, you might need like radical, unconventional methods to get this to work, though. You know, I, I don't hate this. <laughs> I'm ready to punish some bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. There. Hi. Oh, it's like a Medusa head. Can't believe I let you drag us here, Angel. It's no big deal. Just need to teach them the way I was taught. This is how you learn to trust people. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing stronger than the trust between comrades in arms. Buckle up, Buttercups, because today you boys become men. Oh boy. Wait, I can't fight without my minions. Are gonna survive together, ah! and you. Are gonna make this hotel work. Yeah. Oh, there's totally vibes between them. They're both gay, aren't they? The woman? Yeah. There are other ways. It just takes time. Time we don't have. How many times will we have to watch your people be killed before we make headway? I took charge today and it all went sideways. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. Aww. I love them. Maggie, you're not. You're not. If I can't help you, what's the point of me? Whoa, her whole identity's in there. Was she created? I don't think she's created. I think she just gets her whole identity in protecting her. She gets her purpose from that. Yeah, I don't know. The, like, maybe Lilith hired her or something. Like, maybe she's incentivized or something. I don't know. Usually your instincts are right about these things. I don't know. I did what I had to do. I am not discussing this. What? What weighs on your soul, old friend? That's going to be like a serious song. You to share the load. That's what she said. <laughs> Who slew the angel? Why not let your strength be known? Was I don't think it was it? I didn't think, but that I would keep blood off my face. But when that Thing attacked. No oh, shit. I had to oh, maybe she shit. thinks she killed it and maybe really they killed it. Mm. Keep them safe. I don't know. But if anyone knew, then all of hell would rise to I suppress the hope that they would have a chance to win the war. I might lose the ones that I was killing for. Oh nice. This is like a rock opera. This, this is Power awesome. Power ballad builds. Uh, do whatever it takes. I'll make the mistake. Imagine that, going to hell and having kids that then meet you in hell. You'd be so bummed they ended up in hell, but stoked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they're with you. <laughs> you made me feel like a stranger in a brand new place. And it felt so good to be understood. That's all people want, really. I could say. So I'll mm. be your armor. A great line. Do whatever it takes, I'll make the mistake. I'll spend my life. Just think about how I would Aww. do cosplay her. Like, I put the red tape over my hair. Yeah. Right? You mess up your hair for, for the sake of cosplay. Worth it. We'll try to make your dreams come true. Whatever we go through, I know I'll... I love how this is turned into a duet over two very different things, but it's all in the name of love. The old guy well, was all, you're not yourself. You're the one who killed the angel. And, 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 and the she was all, whatever it takes. Screw you, patient. Let's keep this between us. Bye. You got it, boss. Super mad hatter. <sighs> I'm sorry I got so crazy today. It's okay. No, no I'm <gasps> sorry. <gasps> no, you're Charlie. You're not sorry. That's why you show up to the videos, guys. <laughs> Comedic genius. Look what your exercise did for them. <laughs> Look, they're getting along the bonding. With the dismembered arm, yes. That was particularly unpleasant. <laughs> I like that part. At least you can take a beating like a champ. 
You did okay, little kid. You got respect now. Thank you for pulling me out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the change they did with this character a lot. The snake one? Yeah, because yeah. he was kind of just generic before. Yeah, yeah, It made him something really interesting. How was your day with Alistair, my minion? I went to this meeting, and there was a knife lady, an old guy. Mm, that's nice. And the knife lady killed an angel. <laughs> that took all of two seconds. Oh, I'm so sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. But now is time for oh sleep. Oh, my God. Do you think it's going to click in a second? Ah, um, uh, yeah, I'll end on that. No. Oh, no way. They subverted our expectations. Thank you to America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh, for partnering with us. It's always great to partner with people whose services you actually use because as someone like me who's always juggling a packed schedule between filming and editing, finding time for healthy eating can be a challenge. That's where HelloFresh has been a game changer for my life. With HelloFresh, I get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and delicious recipes delivered right to my doorstep so I don't have to step outside. It's revolutionized my home cooking experience. Make it not just easy, but super enjoyable and affordable. Keyword, I recently tried their delicious barbecue pineapple flatbreads and their zucchini pomodoro penne bake. Both were mouthwateringly delicious and fit perfectly with my pescatarian lifestyle. Pescatarian, that's so fancy. And asking my friends who love meat, HelloFresh has an incredible variety. It tempts me to be a meat eater again. People I know have really recommended their lemon parsley chicken paylard, I think is how you pronounce it, and the fuego chicken fajita tacos. Regardless, HelloFresh menu has something for every one. But of course, it's not just about the food. It's about saving time too, not having to wait in line at a grocery store, even self-checkouts on fast enough these days. The convenience of having everything delivered pre-portioned right to your door is priceless, especially with our quick and easy meals like 15 minute recipes, spending less time in the kitchen and more time doing what I love, which is filming and editing. So here's the deal. If you want a great way to support the channel and also support, you know, having a new lifestyle, a healthy, affordable lifestyle in the year 2024, go to hellofresh.com slash rejects free and use code rejects free for free breakfast for life. You heard that right. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. Free breakfast for life for HelloFresh.com slash rejects free. Use promo code rejects free. Try it out and let me know your favorite dishes. Stay healthy and let's keep enjoying those movies and shows. All right, Reject Nation, let's get real for a moment. Running this channel is incredible, but managing finances, especially taxes and budgeting, both for the channel and my personal life, can be overwhelming. That's where Rocket Money has been a financial lifesaver for me, even before I ever partnered up with them. Like I said, I've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products I already use, so it's a win-win for a walk. But it can be a win-win for you too, because there's a reason I use them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I have way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or pay for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to up to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year. Check out Rocket Money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. They are lovers confirmed. Who? Charlie and what's the friend's name? Bestie. Is that her name? Vaggie. Oh, Vaggie. <laughs> Faggy. Vagabond. Yeah. It should be the easiest name to remember yeah, but to like difficult. pull, but then it's you got to like kind of work the brain and be like, oh yeah, Vaggie. Yeah. Yeah. No, they are. They really do give me, and I don't mean like they stole it because obviously like it's, they've made it their own, but it's really, truly Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And I want them to get it on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, me too. I want to see it on camera. Oh, I want but the power dynamic could be difficult. We gotta see how they make it work because clearly 
Poison Ivy is obsessed with Harley Quinn in this scenario. But I just want to make sure that Harley has the same kind of feelings for Poison Ivy. Yeah, I don't get the sense that Charlie actually has the feelings. That's the part. I don't feel it from Charlie the way that I do from Vagabond. Well, what vag- is it? Vaggy or Vaggy? Vaggy. Vaggy. Yeah. Hard G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes I think they're using the homophobic slur. And then I'm like, that's not what they're saying. With an F. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, just, you're just such a good person. You couldn't think of it. Yeah. Well, it was because the Y at the end. Like, I, I don't hear it like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, Yeah, I, hear, I know. I get what you're saying now. It's just like, I have to hear the V. Hear the V. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Um, Can you hear the V with him? Uh-huh. I think that, I don't know where it's going to end up with them. But in terms of, like, the immediate journey at hand, um, I like how it, what they've really been evolving to in other ways, like we saw it with, me, we've been seeing it with media of the political intricacies. And then with this episode, you're seeing more of like this high class secret society, the ones who really control. Secret society, secret society. Secret society within hell, like with the secret meetings and stuff. I'm super curious how each of those gets invited to the meeting because we do like it's old money and it's new money in terms of we see that guy put some respect on his name, tall dude. And then the girl that was standing up for him, but then the girl that I want to be, who's got pigtails, Mm -hmm. she's like, "Uh, yo, I am new school, and this is crazy. What's her name with the V? No idea. Valencia? Valerie? Baggy. No, not her. Pigtails. Bagger. V. I think it's just V. Just V. She's like, "Uh, no, I disagree, and we should go start a war. And is that rash? I don't know. But it is, it's interesting to see everybody at the table. Who's that dinosaur person? Need to know more about the dinosaur. Yeah. There's, they have created a whole world. I give a crap about every single character. I want to know how we got here. I'm still thinking about where Lilith is. I'm still thinking about how, why uh, our our dude, the uh, devil dude, devil radio dude, is was gone for seven years. Mm-hmm. Now people are just like, eh, well, we're welcoming you back. Uh, but he was questioned on that. Yeah, by he was. But then she was like, it was fine. Demonic entity guy. Yep. I, what I love too with this one is they had like such a variety of music. I said it, it reminds me of epo, epic rap battles of history. Have you ever seen those? Yeah. Because what what's so cool about that is like, yeah, they write the raps and they verse each other, but it, they're also. I said, yeah, but I haven't. You haven't? Epic rap battles of history? I haven't heard of them? No, yes to heard of it, no to seeing it. It is. And I said, yeah, really quick, but then I just wanted you to know that was a lie. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. No, seriously. And you don't get that too often in life anymore. Yeah. People just kind of lie, especially on camera. People feel like they got to know everything. But it's yeah, okay sometimes not I to. don't. Bitches yeah. ain't no shit but hoes and tricks. Well, you don't have to bring down the rest of your sex in order to, you know. Oh, no, no. Bitches is not um, specific to women. Mm, is it? No. Not? Are you sure? When no. I say it. I only use it as a derogatory term towards women. Oh, but you can't say vaggy. <laughs> I have a hard time. Where it's going to come across differently when I say it. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. But the music you were liking because rap battles. Epic rap battles of history. So, what they'll do is they'll take like two characters, you know, like Indiana Jones versus uh, Han Solo. And then they write raps where it's just like a rap battle, but it's within the characters of them. With the same actor? No, no, I usually get different actors. And oh, you just picked the same actor? They just took two of the same characters. I mean, two different characters who happen to be played by the same actor. <laughs> Slow it down. All right. So <laughs> they verse each other. And, and what they'll, so like Indiana Jones will like, um, you know, dish out insults about Han Solo and Han Solo is it's like a rap battle. And so it's a very character driven at the same time. And I think that's what they do a lot with, with these kind of duets. Not a duet, but when they're, especially when they like this slice of genre where one starts off kind of like a classical opera ballad and then the other one goes into like hip hop or something of that nature when they're, I, I love the verses of that. And then you get something that is like a duet where you have people on two very different sides of town coming from different angles, but also rooted in a similar emotion of love and protection uh, with characters who haven't even interacted with each other, but you get to see the similarities here. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing that could, could lead to a reform. Like I, I really feel like they're building to something that's, I think it's really easy to look at the show and just see, you know, the like, oh, look how vivid the colors are and how expressionate this is. And that's all grandiose. There, there always seems like there's something a little bit deeper underneath the surface here because we have gotten a lot more political in the way the world is being built out. And then you even get a character who 
I don't know what that character is, the one who everyone feared when they were taking the cell phone photos and stuff. And tall guy. The, yeah, tall, creepy guy. Like, all of his lines were serious. Every, one, every line he had just truly seemed like a guy from a different time period. Mm -hmm. and, and the way he spoke with such uh, the debonair qualities, all this elegancy. And You're using some really good vocab words right now, Greg. Really? Oh, no, I lost it. Oh. You like the tall guy. Yeah, I like big, big guy, big, big dude, <laughs> big, big work well, big, 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 big drawn guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I love, uh, I loved uh, the way he was fleshed out, and I think they've done an excellent job there. And somehow, what I, what I think is really clever about what the show has done is they have. I'm doing totally this symbol here. Hmm? What about lizard people? What? At some point, your Terry's gonna call us. Back. This calls lizard people. I thought this is the Kanye West diamonds in the sky. Oh no! Is that on it? No. I like to. Are you threatening me? Jewish friend. <laughs> Have you heard of Kanye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once or twice. I don't know what his opinion is about Jews, but <laughs> this is what he does. <laughs> okay. oh, <good> <laughs> but uh, uh, um. <laughs> Are they doing this in two batches? Four I don't know. Four? <laughs> what were we saying? What was I saying before the Kanye West? Yeah, uh, you were so off the tracks. I don't even know where you were going with it. The tall I guy. I was you on liked. the tracks, and then you You're, started saying lizard people because you told said this is what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> and I got distracted <laughs> by myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you were saying you like the tall guy, and people were scared of him. Anyway, good episode. Yeah, I guess. You didn't love it. I just felt like I had a point I wanted to get out. All right. Well, think about it. Take a second. Matter of fact, you should take four. One, two, three. Yes, I remember. My God, I got it. It's the, the fact that they have this storyline where you're going to the other side of town with Alistair and you're you're learning about, oh, they're, they're keeping this really hidden. Like, at first, it's a mystery of who killed this exorcist, but then they want to suppress that because if they know there's a chance of winning, not even a chance of winning, they the people in charge really think there's no chance of winning and they don't want to give people hope at a chance of like some type of rev revolution, right? And that's a completely bigger story and, and a whole other area to explore. And then you keep coming back to the Hasman Hotel immediacy of that, which is a little bit more comical, but that's where you get something that is more emotional and I like that the thing that tethers them together is the thing that is the countdown to the extermination. Um, is that what they're calling it? The purging, mm -hmm. the cleansing, whatever? Mm -hmm. uh, is, the, is the countdown to it. But they they feel like completely different types of stories, yet the marriage of them is so well done. Yeah. Um, like you're saying, there's a lot of different layers to it. Like, do the people in charge in hell not want people to know that she was capable of killing an angel because they don't think they're capable of winning the war and they don't want their people to get hurt, or is it because they don't want to give them the hope, or is it because they're scared that they're going to do a, an uprising and too many of them are going to die and then the hell's going to be weaker, yeah. or is it they're scared that some of them are actually going to escape and then there'll be less constituents in hell? Like, mm -hmm. there's, there's got to be all different motives. And because of Alistair I still not knowing what's up with him, I feel like he's going to be the big twist of the season, I, I and I, I don't fully trust him, we have to know what is he doing here? What does he know? And now he has this information from Eggy. So what's he going to do with that? Who's he report back to? Is it Lilith? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's Lilith. Well, let's see what episode four reveals to us. Guys. Four score and has been hotel ago. This is why Roxy's a TV girl. She's here to provide good commentary like that. Um, leave your thoughts down below about, uh, if you were to send someone that, you know, in, in your personal life to hell, who would it be? Uh, that's my YouTube question for the day. And tag them. Uh, tag them. <laughs> tag them in the video. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys for episode four. <laughs> Maria Hammond. Maria, it was your birthday recently. So wanted to say happy birthday to you. And for 2024, 
we got to send you a gift. Yes, we do. What are we realistically going to send her? A puppy. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, Your we, responsibility. We don't want it. We found it on the street. Yes, Take it. Please. Take it. Is it alive? We just packed it in a UPS box, yeah, taped it. Holes in it. Yes. Like fragile. Here's a bowl of water. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. <laughs> it doesn't spill all over this thing. Um, oh, goodness. We could get her something commemorative. We could name a star after her. That's not a bad gift, John. You know, I'm saying, like, I mean, of all the things to commemorate Will your life. Will it cost life? more than what she pays every month for Un- Undoubtedly. Out? So, you know what? We'll have then to it's have a lot. It's a financial lot. Yeah. It if you can increase liability. your pledge so we can get, we you, can the get star. you this gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you only have to pay for it once. So, like, you know, you don't subscribe to the star. Unfair. So See what you, you know. didn't. You wanted the star, <laughs> and now you just took advantage of us. Made yeah. it seem like you were giving, but now we got to give you a gift. Once oh, you what? fully Thanks, paid off real. your gift. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, no, we appreciate we got to you. We're going to get you something. Or are you thinking about it? But no, thank you for being such an amazing human being. Here's to another 78 more years At least of minimum. enjoying. I'm not saying you're 78. I was just throwing out a random number. Just to stay alive for at least that no much one more time. lives past like 80 on average, right? Yeah, it's like the going rate right now. What is the average person? Maria, let's make this really fun for your birthday. <laughs> What John, is the average mortality? Yeah, t- type it in. What is the average mortality rate? What is the average uh, yeah. average? I really don't know how old we're I have no idea. Twenty twenty three. Okay, so we're getting close. Seventy three point one six years, according to Quora. Oh, okay, is the so average life expectancy I in the world you, right now. I hope you be the first person. Of what is the oldest person I've ever lived? Who's the seventy? Old? Actually, it's seventy years for men and seventy five for women. Uh, so. Yeah, okay. They got less problems. That's why. That's right. Much more relaxed What's, life. What is the oldest person? <laughs> How old is the current oldest <laughs> person yeah, in the world? 116. Wow. Oh, you can beat them. All right, Maria. They're yeah. only 116 years old. They live in Spain. Their name's also Maria. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. It was meant to be. Maria, you got to be the new dominant extended life, Maria. Yes. If you could just make it to 118, I think you got a good <laughs> amount of distance between the next runner up. So we're going to do whatever it takes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to send you an IV. We're going to get cells. you cryo-frozen. Yes. We're going to uh, send you some vitamins. We're going to get you some, uh, oh, whatever oh, that. Whatever it takes to get that you. That baby blood stuff that people are always freaking out about. Yeah. People talk about quality of life, not quantity. Hell with that. Yeah. I don't care how miserable you get. I don't care if you develop some debilitating disease over the next couple of years and you're just <laughs> like, oh, my God, just put me out of my misery. No, uh, we will trap you. We're going to get you that hydrochrome. Even if we have to just keep your head alive in a tank like Futurama, we will do yes. it to oh make God. sure you make it to one. That's your gift. That's you your gift. put your head over your here on the set. Your gift is not letting you die. <laughs> yes, your gift is forced immortality. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good. So, yeah. Happy birthday, Maria. Love you. Love you. You've been an absolute gem in our lives, and you, you know damn well that we know that. So thank you, my dear. 